and i also thought about doing something different like see what i say today so let's see how it goes i actually want to do my makeup while i do this vlog and let's go ahead with it a perfection it hinges you in so many many ways it stops you from enjoying the joy of now so it will make you to to postpone your joy always to think like where you are it is not good enough hey loves welcome back to my channel welcome to life in me i am phoebe and thanks for tuning in to this episode of live your best life life in life in me is a brand that i created to share with you strategies tools and plans of how to create the life of your dreams as of me i have always had a life in my head that it is possible to live so if you are interested in becoming the very best version of you if you are tired of doing the same thing over and over and now you want to change in your life you want to do something different then i inspire you i encourage you to come on board subscribe to this channel and always follow or make sure and watch all of my videos that have part in new videos so you can be inspired to take action now and live your dream create the life of your dream so guys with that being said into this episode of live your best life in life in me we are going to be talking about perfection so it's being a perfectionist i have one and one person who has always been a perfectionist from since i don't even know when like i think that the only way i'm going to be value or validated except i be perfect except the things around me i do them perfectly or i be perfect in everything and that's a problem that has been a serious problem which i want to adjust in this video and i also thought about doing something different like see what i say today so let's see how it goes i actually want to do my makeup while i do this vlog and let's go ahead with it i'm not sure. okay guys so here i go we are now in this vlog so this is the first time for me actually and i'm gonna do my very best to get it done like let's do this i'm comfortable but there's a quote that says when you are uncomfortable you are growing in that process so change comes of being uncomfortable in many situations so okay a perfectionist is um a perfectionist is someone i should define it it is someone who refuses to accept any standard that is short of their standard so it means that if you set if you set a particular standard once you don't meet that standard in your mind then it appears to you like this thing was not it was not good enough so to a perfectionist either the thing is black or it is white it's either good or it is very bad or it's not good but the, the actually the word is it is not in black or white there are times that you have to let yourself off the hook and just allow yourself to have normal to have normal uh, encounter normal life action sometimes and don't just tie up yourself to a particular status that is in your head in your mind so being a perfectionist is is actually a guy a good side have positive side of it but yet then still they also have negative side of it like it has lots of negative side compared to the positive one so here you are you are oppressing and all you ever think about in your mind is i just want to be perfect let nothing go wrong if this thing is perfect it means that it is good if it is not perfect it means it is bad okay i gave you a scenario and i listened to something from a lady and that is it is about marriage and it just inspired me a lot about being perfect from for me coming from the background of someone who want to be like having striving to be perfect and listen to that just to my mind like wow so it hit perfection it hinges you in so many many ways it stops you from enjoying the joy of now so 
it would make you to to postpone your joy always to think like where you are it is not good enough like what i have it is not good enough it could have been perfect in this i should have done perfect in this i could have been better than this and since i did not do it so it is not good enough mind you i'm not saying that we can strive for perfection like i myself seriously i love excellence my uncle is excellence express and elegance like when i go anywhere or whatever i do i just want for those core values to be in it i don't know how but i just believe that god put that with inside of me so i coming from the place of excellence and i'm making this vlog now it means that it's actually a call for change so if you have been one of the kind of person who are always thought that i want this thing to be perfect for me we have to change perfection stops it stops you from living a life of fulfillment it stops you from living a life of beauty it stops you from living a life of happiness because why did i say that take for instance here you are you say that and the story about the lady that we're talking about she said that she had a picture in her mind there was a picture in her mind about about marriage about relationship and because that, that picture was in her mind she 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 hold on to it so she did not let herself off the hook for certain reason and then she just read a particular article that said that the best things in life most times you have to allow yourself to get off the picture that is in your mind i don't know if it is if it is the same with you but i as a person like i have picture in my mind for so many things like there are so many pictures in my mind if it is the pictures that are in your mind of how the thing should be how you expect the thing to be if the thing it is not like that you think that that thing it is not perfect so you don't want it and most time rejecting those things can actually be rejecting your blessings because god did not tell you that the picture you have in your mind is what he's going to give to you or is how the joy is going to be fulfilled this makeup i'm doing guys without your real mirror in for me let's just do this without without a picture like this is how it's going to be and it just put in your mind like okay since i have it in my mind in this way and it is not this way then i will not accept it so for instance you have your spouse and you expect like this thing should be in a certain way as this and all of a sudden it is not pleasing like it is not exactly how you want it but yet it's still it is good but it is because it is not exactly how you have it in your mind if it is me like before knowing they will not accept it i'll be like you know what this is not what i want this is not what god has for me like i don't want this and let it go but we are called to be people of, of sensitivity to be sensitive to have in, to be in tune to the spirit of god so we can be able to tell when something is truly the right thing to allow ourselves to get off the book of here you know it just just a few examples to just clear your mind about this whole picture that i'm drawing here is say for instance i read something in a book which is called daring greatly like somebody really dare me that book is the book that inspired me i'm so much grateful that i read that book it's called daring greatly and i'm going to put the link here who wrote the book they just talk about how you you want to be perfect you just think like the only way people should accept you accept you are perfect accept you behave in a certain way except you become flawless like you you are striving for flawlessness like there should be no flaw phone on you there should be no insecurities phone on you and if there's an insecurity that is phone on you do you become a shame do you become pulled up like you do in your jaw back inside of you you don't want to give yourself out to the world like you don't want to impact the world because there is a, a flaw that has been found on you and honestly who is perfect in this world like seriously are you perfect am i perfect like no one is perfect you may see celebrities you may see um, people of god you may see all types of people different different types of like, this other person is flawless no we all have things that we have we are not proud of like we all have insecurities this is like 
you 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 have something to hide so you are covering the shame and whenever you cover shame shame it was in a way that it does not want to be spoken about so whenever you are shame and you don't talk about that shame it becomes big it grows wings and it sit it like it relaxes itself but whenever you talk about that shame that shame becomes to wear it away like shame has to be a discourse whenever you are discussing what makes you shame you shame that shame and just leave your life so because you want to be perfect because i want to be perfect so i cover my shame so you cover your shame and you don't want to talk the things that broke you to people that you trust you don't want to let it out so because of that i want to be flawless i don't want you to see my scar i don't want my scar i don't want you to see the things that hurt me the things that broke me because of that i think i'm perfect like guys honestly i want to share this there's a video that i did this but that my video that i did i call how god healed me from a broken heart i was so much afraid to do that video i was so much afraid and i was like oh guys what am i doing but i felt the need and I, I had the urge to do it because i just felt in my spirit like people need it like someone in it pat on this makeup we are in the process like someone need it someone needs it so because of that i just I just said it out. There were things in that video that I said. I'm, I'm going to leave the, leave the link here. There was things in that video that I said, and it can break in the body. But those are shameful moments. Those are things that you're not really be proud about to talk about. But the best thing you can do for yourself is let it out. So let go of being perfect. Let go of being the perfectionist person that you want to be because no one is perfect and absolutely no one is going to be perfect in this world. We all are living a life that we are here for the first time and we are learning and we are making mistakes and we are growing. So as a sister and as a child or as a person I sit on your way as a guy right now to just help you develop I'm gonna tell you that I passed it it was something I had to develop from it was something I had to grow from it was something I had to accept myself like Phoebe Noah grew from this thing so if you are shame and you think that you don't want to talk about that shame what I'm gonna tell you is let it out Whatever has shame me before, shame a particular situation and tell someone that you trust. Confine someone and tell them so you get it off your chest. Because no one is perfect. There's a quote in the book and it says that you don't have to wait for everything to be set up. Like absolutely, it's not going to happen in life. Even if you want to build your house, it is okay. There are some people that, that there are some people that they are birthed into silver spoon, like they have it all together and they have to build their houses. But with the money all set up but there are some people like in africa you have to go as you you receive your, your money you go and build your house so all i'm saying don't wait for everything to be set and done first before you start maybe you want to start up a business maybe you want to start up an entity probably you want to start up your own company but because you think that it is not perfect i don't have it all together yet so i don't want to start up before i make a shame of myself you are going to be keep on waiting for a time that will not reach because nothing is going to be perfect. It can, it can only be good. It can only be very good, but it cannot be perfect. So get that mentality of perfection off your mind. And my own battle with perfection is when I wake up in the morning, I say I'm going to go for exercise today and I want to run as so and so mass. I want to go this far. And if I'm looking at, if I'm looking at the time, if the time is scoring, and like it's getting six o'clock and i've not gone yet and if i just need to walk short this thing i'll be like no i don't want to go because i did not go long this thing there's a quote that says don't allow the perfect run the long mass run that you will do stop that you never did stop it from the five minute walk that you will do in the morning don't allow the, the elegant dinner party that you want to host that you never host allow you to stop to stop you from hosting your, your 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 common dinner party to invite your friends to come over. It also said, don't allow the oh Jesus, what is that book that you have to write from your computer. Is the perfect book that you have to write. Don't allow that perfect book stop your imperfect chapters that you are waiting for coming out. What is in you now? Breath those things out. Like if I have, if I was waiting for things to be perfect before I started my channel, I was not going to start up. Whatever inspiration you have to start up your own company, don't wait for things to be perfect. 
perfection is the number one killer of dreams. It is the thing that I've killed so many. I've quit for about the makeup now, so it's a thing that I've, that I've killed so many people's dreams because they think that things need to be perfect. Absolutely nothing's gonna be perfect in this life. You just have to go with the flow. God is the flow that is inside of you. Turn your life over to Jesus. He's going to lead to God. He's going to lead you to the right path where you can find a treasure. And don't wait for things to be perfect, guys. This is a testimony. If I am telling you, don't wait for things to be perfect. You should know. Because I'm one person that if the thing is not perfect, I did programming. I wrote a lot of course, like I did programming. Like me, I'm a programmer. But I wrote so many different codes in my computer that I could have launched so many different sites that I built but I never launched one of them just because I thought it was not good enough because I thought it was not perfect because of that I kept it on the computer until the computer crashed and now I don't have the course written I can write different one but what I'm saying now is that because of the mentality that I had that it was not perfect because of that so I don't want to launch it it stopped me up now my calls were not seen by the world. So, what dreams do you have in you now? What aspiration do you have in your mind that you want to break into the world? But because you think that it is not perfect yet, so you are waiting for things to be perfect. Let's go of being perfectionist. We can strive for excellence. All we can do now is just strive to become a person or people of excellence. Excellent always get room for you. It will always make up room for you. But perfection, it is the one that going to kill your dream. So as I have relent, as I repented to not be a perfectionist anymore. If I wake up in the morning, I want to do this and I'm not able, I have the time to do five minutes, I do my five minutes. If I write something here, it is not perfect, I'm going to launch it because why? From that, I'm going to learn to do the next one. Progress come with action taking little action each day step by step the very imperfect things that you do they are the ones that are going to help you to start developing to do the very perfect things so guys before i end this video i'm going to pause it now i hope you enjoy and learn a lot from this video whatever it is i hope you learn from it because this is my high desire that we all learn as we all grow together and i share things that i've learned and things that has improved my life and it helps you too so look out for my next video but before then let me finish this makeup and show my finishing touch face to you guys love you stay tuned Ta -da! Ta -da! okay guys so i'm officially finished with the makeup so this is the finishing touch the finishing look and please leave in the comments how do i look like how do i look so this is this is a hack guys i hope you enjoy my vlog this video this episode of create and live your best life with me phoebe so me and it was a blessing having you here tune in i appreciate you thank you and i meet you meet me at the top guys so hope you are doing it so i'm trying to put my earring here yeah, i'm trying to put the earring here yeah. so this is a earring and guys like i'm actually blushing this way like let's hang out a little bit come on guys so i'm trying which one the earring to wear this or this and this is okay so let's try this one okay leave a comment which one you did enjoy the best so guys this is my finished touch of my makeup and this is it i'm gonna go for a walk on the beach like i'm gonna scroll out and just be cool so guys this is the vlog that i thought of doing today and hope it inspires you like seriously we are about i'm about helping you to become your best self of living your best life to create the life that you deserve guys i think you should put the other ear in here just try that okay so creating the life of your dreams so this is what life for me is about hope to see you in my next video and stay blessed i love you with the love of god fight perfection to not strive for perfection anymore 
but instead strive for excellence because it is excellence that's going to take us to our next level with the favor of God our Father for this is where I'm coming from I'm a child of God a believer and I love God and God loves me and with that in my mind I can do anything so guys love you with the love of God bye bye okay so when I reach we're gonna bring you back so let's come with me and let's just take a walk Ashko I am actually walking on the road right now. Like, I'm walking on the road right now. I'm going for a walk and let's take it.